Ladies and gentlemen, I am back in here. It's your boy Brian. Once again, we're back in here for another installment of the No News, Just Facts podcast. And today, of course, I have uh, my co-host, my friend, Kimo Sabe, if you will. Um, the homie George is in the building. What's up? And this is just the first. <laughs> I don't even know. He never wants to do a podcast. He never wants to do anything, for that matter. Um, but another one of my, I guess I'll call him a special guest. My friend. Known him for a lot of years. James is in the building. Say hello, what's up. Hello, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on? This How is crazy, man. I'm good, man. That's all. Happy I finally got some time to come on your podcast, man. Word, 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 man. Glad you're here. Glad you could be a part of this. Um, I really don't even know what to talk about. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I mean, I could look up some some news story, but we let, let's I don't know. Let's do this on a like more let's let's start on freestyle. Let's start on Kanye running for president. Ugh. Okay, we can start on Kanye running for president, and then who else was said they were going to run for president? Um, I want to say it was a was it a wrestler or was it? It was it was it was the Rock. I think I think I, the Rock I was story. somebody else, George. I, I don't know. Somebody, I don't know. What do you think about Kanye running for president? I I read somewhere that he was. They said that he was having like a a, a bipolar episode. So it could be true. It could not be true. So it was a false alarm. Maybe maybe not. Okay. I don't know. But they, I for you know when I heard about it, I'm like, uh, yeah, America already looks like a joke because we got you know we got a casino owner in the White House. Yeah. So, um, what's another celebrity? Right. We're already getting laughed at, laughed at by other countries, so it's just kind of like a joke. a joke. I I thought that you know, in order to become president, you have to be a mayor of a city. For X amount of time, right? Don't you have to have some kind of pre- I don't want to say presidential, but don't you have to have some kind of well, background? Yeah. Think about it, think about it like this. Who's in the who's in the office right now? He didn't he didn't have no political experience. You're right. But, he, but he's there now. Yeah. But but you know why he's there? Because yeah. of money. Money. He proved he all he proved is that you don't got all you need is money. Money make the world go. Better. Does so money buys happiness? Exactly. George, what do you think about what? Kanye yeah, for president. You know you want to say so. Say so. About Kanye running for president? I think say it's so, the stupidest bro. thing ever. Say so, bro. I said the best about Twitter. Why? Why is it a stupid thing? We don't need another celebrity in the White House. You're right. There's no point of having celebrity. We also don't need a goddamn Kardashian to be the first lady. What? People are not realizing that this is real life. What? No. Instead of reality TV. Well, not only that, but if, if you follow George's Twitter, one of the things he said on Twitter was, Kanye running for president just shows you how much of a joke America is. Yeah. So I, 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 I can't I believe, I can't agree with him anymore because I feel like being the president of America is like... Look, it's being president of the world. It's, okay? like, the, it's like the gold <laughs> of the medals, right? Not anybody can just be the president, but right now I feel like George. It may even seem like it, it could be anybody that, that could be president. You're right. They're making it seem that way, but if you look at it like this, you know, in in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> like in the grand Don't scheme of it. things, Don't like uh, it's like you're picking the lesser of evils because you know. You either gonna have this motherfucker who's here, mm-hmm. or the other motherfucker. Yeah. You know, and I know, pe- and I know people are like, especially young people. Young people this probably don't even right. want to. Young people probably don't even want to vote for either of the evils. I don't think. So it's like, I don't think young people know who to vote for. You know, and don't. for I don't speak for George, but I speak for myself because I'm not one to follow politics. I'm not one to. I don't follow politics. Chase either. votes. Me personally, whatever happens, happens, and I go with the flow. And what it is, what it is. 
Now, I wish I could be more into politics, but I'm just not. I, I'm not a social studies major. And I'm not saying you have to be a social studies major to follow politics, but just when I went to high school and went to school, social studies just wasn't a class I, I cared about, you know? Um, I wish I'd be more into politics, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. However, I see what's going on in this world, and I don't agree with everything that's going on. I don't agree with school starting in August. I don't agree with it. I just don't. I'm the father of a five-year-old boy, and I don't think that, um, I worry about his health, and I worry about his safety. However, I see other people's stance. But, um, with this virus, coronavirus breaking out, and just it becoming a pandemic, too, I don't feel comfortable with my son going back to school. But that's me personally. Um, I just don't. I mean, yeah, put yourself in my shoes. If y'all were a parent, how would you feel? If I mean, how would you feel? My kids not going back to school. Exactly. My, my kids not going back to school if it's if no, there's still a virus. Room. No, but I, I, I want to take it even further. Do you think? Do you think that it was wrong that our governor decided to open up back? Absolutely. So, so, absolutely. absolutely. Governor Abbott's an idiot, but he's only doing that because he rides Trump's dick so hard that. I was going to make a bad joke, but never and, mind. I mean, Texas, Texas is a Republican state, and but if you look at it, like, we're so close uh, to being a Democratic state, right? Because all the Californians keep moving over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're close to being a Democratic state, but as of right now, we'll continue to be red, and we'll continue to... Um, our governor is going to continue to pretty much just stroke Trump's cock. And now he's reaping what he sowed oh, yeah. by opening it because oh, yeah. now he's feeling the whole blow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's pointing their finger at him. Yeah. And like I said before, like like what I said earlier about money making the world go around, he was losing, he was losing money when I'm, I'm pretty sure he was thinking about money when he decided to open, it, open the states, open yeah. our state. Network. Here's the thing, man. Money is everything. I think that here's, at the end of the day, was coronavirus slowing down when we opened? Yes. Did we expect a second wave of the pandemic? Yes. And everybody's surprised. Mm-hmm. You know, we knew there was going to be a second run up. We knew there was going to be a second wave of, of the coronavirus. We knew it. Mm-hmm. But we didn't want to believe it. You know, you know I, I'm a manager at a restaurant, and it's very much real. It's very much real. You know, we're running at a 50% capacity. Um, you know, and it's real. How does that affect, like, your, like, the business just overall? Like, I mean, it, your, 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 it, your it affects the business because we can't run at the high volume that we're, we are used to. Like, when you, when you say y'all are running at, like, 50%, what, what is that? What exactly do you? That. Do you mean like y'all can only y'all can only do like like let's just say y'all can only cook food and what they have to order it and they just come pick it up or what? No, so running at a fifty percent capacity. Well, every day we have different amount of servers, you know, mm-hmm. and right now we have different servers every day, three to four, four to five, five at most. We 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 um, we adapt to the number amount of servers we have on the floor. You know, it's a fifty percent capacity. You know, if I only have three servers on a Saturday night, then I, that's all I have. Mm-hmm. And then I'm closing half of my restaurant, and we're running at fifty percent capacity. And then we're on a two and a half, three hour wait for the rest of the night. Right. And it is what it is. You know, <laughs> we're monitoring social distancing. We're ensuring all of our guests and our staff have gloves. Well, not our guests, but all of our staff have gloves. Mm-hmm. They're washing their hands every twenty minutes. They're wearing their masks. Right. You know, we're following the CDC protocols. Mm-hmm. Um, Will it ever be back normal? I don't know. But right now, for what we have and what we're dealing with, I think we're doing a great job. I feel like our place is a, is a, is a safe place to be. We can't control where our staff goes on their off time, but when they're with us, they're safe. Yeah. And and what it is, is it's, just, it's running uh, a company at the capacity we are able to run it at. Right. You know, and, and again, it's a Saturday night. We have three servers. We're at a three-hour wait at 6 o'clock. It is what it is. We don't have enough staff. We don't have the people to run it. You know, I don't think we will until next year just because of the the, the severity of the coronavirus, man. I mean, my son is five, 
and he knows the severity of the coronavirus. Anytime we go out in public, he's wearing a mask. You know, and then I read stuff on Facebook how pets can catch it. I don't know if you saw that, Brian and George, but um, I think a, a dog somewhere in the road caught what contracted the coronavirus. You know, and just like what George said last month was just like, if you do what you're supposed to do, or what you should have been doing, washing your hands, you'll be okay. You know? It's pretty serious. Um, I don't know. This is a, this is like, a, this is like a fresh thing. Um, so I don't know if, uh, George already knew about the, the thing with Wayfair and child uh what child trafficking or something like that yeah i don't really know too much about it i haven't i just seen like a bunch of a bunch of uh, information on it but um basically (laughs) oh my god but um basically um wayfair is like a so what is this Wayfair? Wayfair is like a furniture, what is it, like a furniture place or whatever, like a furniture, a furniture app, app or something like that, service or something like that, where you can order furniture. Yeah, and it's like um, expensive furniture. Yeah, it's expensive furniture. So apparently they're saying that like missing kids and, and things of that nature are like being like I guess in a way auctioned off on the uh, Wayfair or something like that. So what you're saying is that people are stealing kids and auctioning them off on Wayfair? Yeah. How are they getting the kids? Um, so from what I'm reading here, um, I seen like a video earlier where a lady was like trying to explain it and she was pretty much saying that like, okay, she was showing like this furniture that she, that she uh, it's like, it was like $14,000 or something like that. So when she goes to like add it in a cart or whatever, and she goes to like put her information in, somebody's name is already there. Okay. She didn't put her name in or anything, but a person's name is already there. I haven't heard anything about this. I haven't heard anything about this. I'm, this I think is that's new. Crazy. This is new to me. Um, and the person's name that's already in the uh, information is like an, an abducted child, child or something like that. Yeah. So. Um, I don't know if it's just somebody hacking Wayfair to make Wayfair look. I've never heard of Wayfair. Look a certain way. I've never, I've never shopped on Wayfair. So no, I don't know what that is. Wayfair is like a furniture store, store or something like that online. Um, like that. What do you think, George? <clears throat> uh, I don't know, man. I think it's all a conspiracy. Me personally, I just think it's all so just another one of Twitter's conspiracies. Yeah. Trying to come to life. But let, let let's take a minute. Let's talk about Keith Lee becoming the. North American Championship and NXT Championship. You had another that is going to go wrestling, Brian. For a quick five, for two minutes, let's talk about it. <laughs> how do you feel? I don't know how to feel. How am I supposed to feel? I think it's great. It sucks, but it's great. You just, what, because Adam Cole lost? I thought Adam Cole was a great champion. Well, Adam Cole's probably going to go to the main and roster. That's, and that's the story on wide man, but I think I'm so happy for Keith, Keith Lee. I mean, I'm happy for him too. He's a good worker. He's very good. He's better. Than, he's better than some of the guys we know. Yeah. And for his size. Oh yeah. That's like a. It's like you know. That's a big guy. That's like a Jake Nelson doing backflip off the top rope. <laughs> this guy. You know. But no, you know, back to the Wayfair. I've never heard of it. No, 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 no. We're not going to do it like that. You're not going to jump. No, off hey, the you, you're not saying nothing. Because I don't got nothing to say about it. Bro, I wasn't ready for that. If you got that. nothing to say, let's talk about the Wayfair. I was not ready for that at all. You just, what, you just said, I've let's never start. Heard, I've never heard of Wayfair. You just said, let's talk about it for two minutes. You hop on that and then try to go back to Wayfair. No, no. I've never heard about no, Wayfair. No, we're going we're gonna to stay, uh, stay in this in that area. Okay, let's What do y'all it. think about the WWE right now? With everything going on with coronavirus, with everything going on with all these random allegations going on with wrestlers, what do y'all think about the state? Just not even with WWE, 
with AEW, with Impact Wrestling. What do y'all think about wrestling right now during a pandemic? That's, that's, that's boring. And that's, you, and that's coming from one of the biggest wrestling fans ever. I got that. What, like, do you think, I, I know, I know, like, um, do you think wrestling should have been shut down? No. I mean, here's the thing. No, I don't think it should have been shut down. I, I do think that there are people out there that rely on wrestling as a, as a, as a getaway from real life. Mm-hmm. You know, you have Monday Night Raw or Wednesday Night NXT or Wednesday Night AEW or anything that's wrestling related. It's entertainment. And, you know, as a kid, you watch a TV show that kind of, you watch a TV show, you invest in it. And it kind of takes you from the real world into a make-believe world. It's great, right? But I think for us as diehard fans, people that wrestled in backyards during high school, it's boring. The fans make a tremendous difference, you know. Um, I don't watch AEW. I don't watch TNA. I do not watch Bring of Honor. Yeah, we know you're a WWE boy. I do not watch <laughs> New Japan Pro Wrestling. Simply because I don't have the access to it. If I had the access to it, would I watch it? Probably not. Just because I'm devoted to WWE. But even then, the... the so the, wait, hold on. Even if WWE... And I'm not saying this will ever happen. Because WWE does... Don't, uh, they, they seem to be good on their own without having to ever collaborate with any Correct. wrestling company. But let's just say... And I know this will never happen, like ever. WWE and New Japan Pro Wrestling collaborate, and it becomes a thing where they put they put New Japan on their platform. You still wouldn't watch it. Here's my thing. I think like if New J- if WWE put New Japan on their platform, I would still watch WWE as much as I do now. I feel like now, as a kid growing up from ten to eighteen. I had not much going on. I was watching wrestling every Monday night because I, I had school. I was watching SmackDown every Thursday or Friday night because I had school and I had nothing going on. I didn't have a job. But now, as a 26-year-old turning 27, I have a 5-year-old son. I have a full-time job. And wrestling, what used to be number one, is now like number three. So I watch wrestling when I can. If I'm off on a Sunday, George and I will watch a pay-per-view. Um, we record Raw, SmackDown, NXT, AEW. Do we watch it? No, we don't. But we read the spoilers on Twitter. We follow the ringside news on Instagram. We follow all those pages. But we really, I, I don't want to speak for him, but I really don't watch it as much as I used to. Um, just because it's just, um, I'm a fan, but I just don't watch it as much as I used to because it's, you're growing. You're, you're growing, man. You're growing. You're an adult. Now, so, here's the thing. I love watching the WWE Network. I'll watch some Tough Enough. I'll watch some older wrestling. But, you know, I just... Uh, I don't want to say I'm bringing out of touch with the product, but I kind of am. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it sucks. Yeah. I'll watch it, but I'm not devoted to it. I'm not going to make sure I'm home at 7 o'clock to watch Monday Night Raw. Why? I'm recording it. Spoilers will be on, and the dirt sheets will be up on Twitter. You know? It's not like it used to be, man. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think, uh, do you think Vince McMahon got careless? Um. At some point? Yeah, totally. I mean, here's the thing, man. Like, Vince has been the mastermind between behind the WWE for so long and for example that's like you being a manager I don't say a manager but being the pencil on the paper for so long to where also you don't care but like you just kind of you don't put so much pressure you know so I, I think Vince leans more on his writers than anything he believes that they have good material but at the end of the day like me personally I don't I think Drew McIntyre is kind of boring and I don't know if it's just because of the fans. Do I like him as a champion? Yeah, he's great. Is he... Is he making me want to be a champion? No. I think he has that, that, that childhood story that Rey Mysterio had in 2006. 
God forbid, you know, Eddie Guerrero, rest in peace, you know. But um, I really think it, Drew McIntyre had that kind of story, you know. If I'm like, hey, I feel good, we need to give it a belt, you know. But to me, Drew McIntyre's kind of boring. You know, and then Drew McIntyre is off regular wrestling Sunday at Extreme Rules. Like, you look at Dolphin, the guy's been with the company for, what, 10, 11 years? Give it just some respect. The guy can sell, the guy can wrestle, he can cut a promo. Why can't you give him the strap? Title the championship. I I just feel like Drew McIntyre. He, he me personally, he's not growing on me at all. I let him speak wrestling because I. Yeah, I mean, I, he brought okay. it up. So we can I'm we can talk whatever you want though. This is a this is your, up, this is your so podcast. Was, we can talk whatever you want. I was trying to. Let's talk whatever you want, Brian. Yeah. No, I just wanted to stay on that for a second. I didn't want to. Get on something serious, and then you jumped in with no. twenty seconds of wrestling, and then I didn't want to. I didn't want to just jump back to a no. Let's talk about what you want to that. You know, j- let's just stay on sports since we're let's, here. Let's talk, about, let's talk about Cam Newton's new con. Uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about Cam Newton. Let's talk about Patrick Mahomes. Um, Congratulations to them both. Yeah, I think Cam Newton's gonna do good in the Patriots. You think so? He's got a good coach. Uh, Oh, what receiver is like? Does he have a good team? How does he? I don't remember what receivers are on there. Man, all I'm saying is if Bill, Be- Bill Belichick can't help Cam Newton. Yeah, Bill nobody can. Nobody and Bill Belichick, we all know he's hands down one of the best coaches in the NFL. Yeah, he, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Cam kind of peaked, bro. In my opinion, he kind of peaked while he was with the, with the Panthers. I'm not saying he won't do good with with the Patriots. Patriots. It's just I don't know he, that same magic that he brought. That he brought when he was with Carolina. Well, who is the who is the coach's name for the Panthers? Uh, His house burned down. Ron Rivera. Yeah, Ron Rivera. Good. Would you say he's a good coach? Well, he went to the. He went to the Super Bowl, but would you say he's a good coach? What? Oh no, yeah, he's a good coach. No, but he went to the Redskins. I want to say. It's probably the Redskins, which they might be renaming them to the Red Feathers. I saw today. What do you think about the Redskins getting a new name? Man, they've been trying to change the name of the Redskins for a long time. But honestly, I really feel like with today's day and age, they're kind of going to do it. Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. NFL, the NFL needs uh, a certain demographic. Obviously, black people. Obviously, Hispanic people. Obviously, Native American people. Right. So they're going to do everything they can to uh, appease their consumers. Right. No, so, totally. Um, what do you think, George? I mean, it's the Redskins. I really don't care about them. But just because he's a Cowboys fan, yeah, man, it's it's long overdue. Man. if I'm being honest, that's what I was I was saying. That too. It's it's long overdue. It's 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 time to catch up with the times. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and they're, like you were saying, they're gonna appease to their clientele. So yeah, definitely. <clears throat> You can't stay still, can you, James? No, I can't. ADD <laughs> much. Thank you, George. I'm trying to try to eat off this. In the middle of the fucking yeah, podcast. But he wanted to do the podcast. Yeah. This guy. Um, what else? I mean, with the Redskins, I personally feel like... Just like George said, I don't care. It's a divisive thing for us because we don't care. We're all in the same. James is an Eagles fan. I'm a Cowboys fan, and the Redskins are just there. But here's the thing. Not, <laughs> here's the thing, George. Me and you and I, we are not super sensitive to the situation of what's going on in the real world at all. We're not because we're not a bunch of pussies. We're not. Russian Washington Redskins, cool. They're gonna get their ass whooped. Cleveland Indians, cool. They're gonna get their ass whooped. It's, I mean, I understand where they're coming from with the name. I get it, but red skin is what a Native American is. Just take, just take your, your 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 ego of the love for your team out right now. Absolutely, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Just I take that away for now. Okay, so let me put that to the side. Washington Redskins is that a bad name? Yes. It'd Should be it like change, I guess. But it doesn't concern me, man. Like, I see the sport for a sport, not. I don't. I see a team for what it is. It's athletic ability. I don't see a team for its name, its logo. Washington Redskins. Cool. They got Alex Smith. They got um, 
who's that big that that number one running back? That's old as shit. I don't know, there's a lot of those. <laughs> um, what's his name? The running back. Their main running back. I don't remember. I don't pay attention to them. He played with the Vikings, I think. Oh, uh, Adrian Peterson? Adrian Peterson. I mean, here's the thing, man. People are only making an issue about it because they can right now. And because it'll get noticed. Well, it's not that they can. They have made an issue about this for years now. For the last five years, but what's the big deal? The only reason that it's going to happen now is because they can. Because there's a lot of things going on in the world. Hold on. You said what's the big deal? What's the big deal? Bro, what if they... Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. You got to... No, no, no. James, you got to understand where these people are coming from. You got to put yourself in their shoes. I get it. Let's just say... I know it doesn't concern you. I know. I see it as a team, though. I understand. But you're seeing it from the NFL standpoint. You're not seeing it from the people standpoint. If you can't place yourself in their shoes, then that's the issue right there that people here in the United States have. Is that if you can't place yourself in the shoes of a Native American who is... The racist term for them is red skin, like calling a white person a redneck. Imagine they're called the Washington rednecks. That'd be horrible. Exactly. Of course, All right. Yeah. That's exactly That's why the, same. the, the whole concept. Thing, like, I wasn't born on and brought up like that. You know what I mean? So it's just like, I guess, here's my thing. I guess because I'm not a Redskins fan, I don't see it. But I don't know, like, here's my thing, man. Like, I just, I don't look at NFL teams and think of it like that. Right. You, you're in. Your mindset is more into the entertainment, football, sports side. Exactly. Right, of course. But you have to feel the humanity of where it's coming from. Exactly. It's, it's. I mean, and I totally do. Should it be changed? Yes, man. But like, I don't know, man. I think it's crazy. <sighs> oh man! Imagine the uh, all the names. I'm thinking all the names I could possibly <laughs> be had. The Washington Reds get red feathers. Am I the chips have bro? The Washington Red Feathers. No, but I get it, man. But like here's my thing, like I don't see racism at all. And I, I guess if you really sit there and think about the Redskins, you see it as a racism term, but I just I just don't. But I, I do see where it's coming from, I really do. They're still gonna suck though. <laughs> you don't wanna talk about, uh. I don't even think we give a fuck about it. Do you wanna talk about Will Smith and Jada? Let's talk about it. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's not really much we can really talk about. It's out there already, so. Other than. What's, what's the term? That, that bitch used entanglement. Entanglement. Entangled. Uh, you, I mean, you had we had to know the internet was going to be funny. Yeah, I'm sure Will Smith already knows that all the memes and everything that have come I out mean, from her. Come on. He's he's on the internet. No, I will give him the props for talking about it like adults and not overreacting like a lot of people that overreact over nothing, but. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's it's it's, it's their business. And yeah, we we're just. How y'all feel? I feel like it should have never. Like we should have never known about this. Like think about it. He got they got kids, and their kids are on the internet like that. I just feel like do do who ousted who ousted her, and, you know, said oh I had a relationship with Jada and everything like that. He would he got to like. They had sex. They, I, I believe they had sexual relations, and he got, he fell in love. Who? Him and August. August and Jada. Like August fell in love, and it wasn't like that for her. Right. Cause she was married. Yeah. So I mean, and you have to think about it in real terms. Like there, there are whole, there are plenty of like couples who are married who go through that type of life, that type of shit. You know, sometimes they just they just separate and they don't they don't do any they don't do anything allegedly. Um, and then there are some who shit for for lack you know the wife will go and go do something, go fuck with a guy, or uh, the husband will go fuck with some 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 thought at the at the club or something like that. You know, something like that. But it never. But if they ever like work it out. 
if if a, if a woman and a man ever work out their marriage and they come back together, I don't really. I think whatever happens when they're not together should not be like really discussed like that. You know, that's just me. Like if 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 I did something while I wasn't with you or while we were separated, I don't think that we should really like really explain it if we're working everything out and, and you know we're trying to get back good with each other. You know, okay. if, especially especially if we've been married a long time, like how Will and Jada, how long they've been married, and and you know another thing is that we they never really even touched on what on what Will did. I mean, but I think he made it clear. Like, you? no, I'm saying like we all we, the public knows about Jada and you know August yeah. talking about Jada. We don't know nothing about Will Smith, mm -hmm. but I think that's good that we don't know nothing. About, we don't we don't know what's going on with Will Smith. I think the only thing I had ever seen about him that had Margaret Robbie, right? Huh? Margaret Margaret Robbie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like a picture of them together or something like that. Yeah, I saw it. But I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know if not anything came of that. But then again, if it did, I could understand because you know, of course, they're separated. And shit, he wanted. I, I feel like he wanted to like get divorced from her, honestly. If we're really, if we're really being honest, he said that he's gonna get her back, and she said, "Okay, that's fine." What are you saying? Will Smith said that to her. Will Smith said that to Jada. Oh, okay. And they're like, "Okay," and then they fist bump it, fist bumped each other to uh, her saying, "Unstable marriage for life." <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Bad, bad marriage for life. But uh, yeah, I, I just feel like our Hollywood uh, father. <laughs> our, our movie father just had a little bump in the road, you know, like like couples do. Not even just married people, just couples in general. <clears throat> that's how you know. That's how you know it's real love. Um, I think about the whole situation is that um, me personally, I was talking about that. I think today or yesterday. I don't know if I can forget my my significant other. To be honest with you, mm. you know. Um, well, See, I, I was gonna get on that. I, it's hard. I mean, it, 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 it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, you know, I guess it, it, it depends on a lot of things, but, um, you know, you look at the picture with her and Will, then you look at the picture with her in August. Mm -hmm. which, which one does she look happier? She, to be honest, she, she, look a little, she, she look a little free with August, August. Exactly, you're right. So, I mean, um, I mean but I, I feel like that's a double, double standard as well. So, I mean, like, so. when men... With men, when we do shit, you know, it's the end um, of the fucking world. We can fuck, we can fuck ten, twenty women, whatever, right? But the moment a woman fucks one man, <clears throat> she goes and goes, she goes and does something with one man. We, we fucking, the the whole world is about to end. Uh, I'm, the whole world is about to end when a man realizes that. It's so it's, it's a crazy double standard. Like I said, we could fuck 10, 20 women, knocking them all down, and really? then it's no problem. But when a woman, just even one man, it's like she's a hoe or, or whatever or something like that. I think it's really all on your perception of the situation. Mm -hmm. You can't really look at it in that, in that instant. No, but that that's... Most of the time, that's how the public looks at it. You're right. That's public, That's that's society's perception. For me, I look at the fact that my woman is in a, is in a bed with another man. You know, mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'd ever be able to trust my woman again if that ha ha if that ha happened. You know, because I'm like, I'm are, are you saying you couldn't trust her if it was just a thing of like? Let's 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 just say, for instance, if it was like a thing where she wasn't she wasn't like if yellow is like texting and talking on the phone, um, if if it's like uh, if orange is is holding hands or hugging or something like that, and if green is having sex, let's just say she was in yellow. And we're married. What's the yellow? What's the yellow again? The yellow is texting and talking on the phone, and that's all. That's that's the only thing she's doing. As far as are you texting another guy like that so much? No, I mean I'm saying if y'all have problems, 
if y'all have problems, if she texts me, like, that's bad, or you talk to him on the phone. Yeah, I'd be like, what the hell's going on? Mm. I mean, I really feel like the only man you should be talking to you about your problems are me. But what if she can't talk to you? What if she feels like you don't understand? Then that presents another problem, you see? It does. You see? Um... I'm not much to give second chances, so I must really like you if I end up forgiving you for something like that. I'm more of a, if you're going to fuck up in a relationship like that, cheat on me, I'm gone. You had your chance, you fucked it up. This is how I am. Even if she's not that type of girl? If she yeah. wanted to cheat, that's her decision that she made at the end of the day, not mine. Mm. So... If she wasn't happy, she could have just told me and left instead of cheating right. and breaking trust. It's simple. If you're not happy in a relationship, walk away. That's what people don't seem to understand nowadays. You know, and not to try to disagree with George, but it's, <clears throat> it's easier said than done. You know? Yeah, definitely. Of course. Um, well, I mean, not everybody's made like me, so... No. Really not. That's, not, that's not a bad thing. Because I'm straight to the point with everything. So, yeah. like now I know I understand if people <clears throat> can't seem to distance their feelings for some for others, and knowing that they're not happy but are too scared to walk away, I understand that. Yeah. I get it. But at the same time, you're destroying a trust and a bond that you have with somebody that was willing to be with you because they wanted to be with you and grow and be something great. Well, what if they're truly sorry? Uh, I'm not a forgiving person. I know you're not a forgiving person. I can forgive, but I, I would have to... Just because you forgive doesn't mean you have to accept them yeah. and, forgive their, and accept their apology. You can accept their apology and you don't have to be with them. I mean, here's my thing. like, If my girl ever did that to me. Melissa, I'd be super upset. Would I forgive her? I don't know. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. I hope I don't ever be in that situation, you know? I don't know. Luckily, I've never been in that situation either. Um, clearly it's different if you're married. Yeah. That's a big difference. Kids, <laughs> it's different. Yeah, then yeah. I mean, my chances of forgiving you are probably more likely than if we're not married, you know? Um, I hope to never be in a situation. And if I am, I'll answer it then. Man, I feel like it's a thing of, like, you... If you've been solid and been with somebody for a certain amount of years, you will get tested. You will get tested, regardless of... How we feel and how we say, oh, this is how I would do it, or that is how I would do it. I just feel like when you're in like a like a real relationship with somebody, you're gonna get tested. Honestly, I know I say that I won't forgive somebody and all that nonsense, but I've never really been in that situation. So I think that this is mainly it's probably more of a learning curve, and I won't know till it happens. And that's for everybody that has never gone through that. Mm -hmm. I won't know until it happens. And I hope that it never happens to me, him, or you. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, like, I, I am a very observant person. And so, like, if I see something, like, then I'll start getting the, the notations that, oh, okay, something's going on. Mm -hmm. And even with people, like, I'm just, I just like to observe people's reactions to things and how they are and... And their behavior. And their behavior. And, yeah, it bites me in the ass sometimes because I know that it's what I see is true. But sometimes I don't want to believe it myself. Mm. And so I start talking to myself and be like, no, that's not, that's not true. But then you know it's true. Right. Hey. Like I said, man, it's a... Uh, like you said, it's a teach it's a teachable moment, especially for those like people who have been like solid in the ground 
within like their relationship for like more than five years, more than more than ten years, you know, then there must be like a system that they have to like be able to like tell each other things, you know, without having to like keep secrets or anything like that. Or I'd be some type of mistrust. I'd be open to talk about it. You know? I wouldn't be opposed to talking about it. Just me from being me and very upfront, but like I wouldn't be scared to talk about it. If you want to talk about it, that's great, but don't keep a secret from me. I think it's worse when you lie to somebody mm-hmm. and keep that secret away from them than actually sit down or with them and talk to them. they ask you and 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 you just give them a run around and then you finally tell them after like 600, 700 times that you ask it like, what the fuck is this? And, you know, what is this over here? I saw this on your whatever. And I feel like fucking social media is the devil sometimes when it comes to fucking relationships. Oh, yeah, I think social media is you one know? of the biggest axes on... It's, it's the devil. It's like... Axe, it's like t- throw, taking an axe and just throwing at your own back. The last thing I want to do is be married to somebody and then be, show, you know, sharing... Be sharing my... Um, sharing my happiness and my love for somebody on... Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or something like that only for people to be like trying to holler at my girl or, or say that oh she she was doing this or doing that and you know that leads to you know question asking and, and you know I, I don't, I'm not in the business of like trying to offend nobody or anything like that but you know if, if that's going on then we don't need to be on social media yeah I mean for, you know? so for me um <clears throat> with my girl and I um, we always keep our phones on both unlocked and um, when she had a password I knew her password and vice versa so for any time like I'm on Facebook Instagram any time you know, text me she's with me right mm-hmm. I got nothing to hide um, but anytime anybody tries to follow her on like Instagram or add her on Facebook she always tells me mm-hmm. and I just want to yay or nay you know, are they good people? Yes or no? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And go from there. Or vice versa. That's just the kind of relationship her and I have. You know, I leave my phone with her. She wants to see. If she wants. She asks for my phone to change the song. It is what it is. I I have nothing to hide. Neither does she. But when we have someone that adds us or tries to follow us on social media that we don't know, or has mutual friends with the other, hey, what do you think about them? You know, I've I've. I've had a couple of my friends want to follow her on Instagram, and I said, no. Are they a cool guy? Yes. But I don't want them following my, my girl. You know? And that's just... That's just the kind of relationship um, that Alyssa and I have, you know? We're super honest with each other. We're open with each other. Um, I feel like you have to have that on Instagram. You know, because um, George and I, I'm sure you do too, we know people that will try to take your, your women, your girls behind your back. Oh, trust me. Definitely. You know? We know. <laughs> Definitely. Fucking idiot. Um, I can't relate to my, most of the things y'all are saying because I'm the only single one here at the table. <laughs> Brian, you got a girlfriend? Uh, it's, Brian! It's friends. <laughs> Close to a girlfriend. Let's just say Let's that. Let's talk about it, Brian. This is good stuff for the... To we don't need to talk about it. Um, you really have a girlfriend for real? No, this is like a friend. We're friends. Oh, well, you both are on Instagram. You were Snapchat the other day. Last week. We're friends. You know he's not going to let it go, right? We're friends. <laughs> for real? Y'all want to date him? Anyways. Um, I was something else. Uh, What's her name? So, uh, I guess she would be, would she be like a former girlfriend or former wife or uh, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, former... Uh, as girl, she was a girlfriend. Girlfriend or whatever. She, she was Jeffrey Epstein's former girlfriend. I have no idea how to say her first name. I don't know how to fucking say her name. Glass, black, get, I don't know. Get slain or, oh, I don't know how to well, say Well, she her gonna get slain. But, uh, yeah, she's in custody now. Yeah, why? Um, of course, because of, uh, the whole, you know, the whole sex trafficking thing and everything. They trafficking finally got minors. her. 
So and she's gonna be naming names soon. So our, already, I already showed you earlier. Yeah, the guy that killed a guy, himself. A guy who killed himself. Who was uh, part of the whole like thing? A movie producer or something like that who killed himself because um, he's connected to the whole yeah. thing that's going on. So she's about to start naming. And if that don't speak suspicious and and everything like that and. What, what is it, a, a prince or whatever? Like a, a prince in like a, the UK or something like that. He He's uh, being, um, they keep on questioning him and he's he's, he's saying, I, I I don't know nothing or nothing like that. Not, so It's not Prince Harry, is it? The guy uh, that's no, 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 no. It's like Prince Andrew or something like that. Huh. So, yeah, he's one of them. And it, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure it is. I'm sure there's a lot of names. So, and, um, you know, to make sure, you know, we're we going to know there's something wrong if, if, if she uh, just, you know, commits suicide. suicide. Air quotes. You know? They gave her paper clothes so she doesn't try to hang herself. So here's my thing. Um, Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. We all know this. Of course we know this. However, I have not watched that, that Netflix documentary yet, so I'll I can't that. really chime in on it. That shit is scary, crazy, and nasty. It's the nastiest fucking documentary I've ever watched. Just pretty much, it's just, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the whole thing, but pretty much, this guy got underage girls to come over to his house and give him, like, feet massages and just do all types of disgusting things like and then what's even more nasty is that this guy has an island he has like a private island imagine he has judges police uh, uh, whole corporations in his pocket that he could just pay off he can afford the best lawyers and shit so Whenever one of these women would like, pretty much like, like it's going back to like 2005. Whenever one of these young women would like come out and like say that, oh hey, he he did this to me or he did that to me, it would always get like settled out of court. Yeah, they'd always uh, pay off the family and the girl. Like you know, which is what the what the receipts that we saw from an anonymous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Those are all from uh, payoffs. So think about it like uh, like Pablo Escobar. Remember how uh, I don't know if you've ever watched Narcos or heard the story or read the story or anything like that. But when they tried to arrest Pablo Escobar in Colombia, Pablo Escobar got to build a jail and pretty much live in his jail and do whatever he wanted to do in jail. So pretty much he owned, you know, he owned everything. And see, you already do it. You already, you already, you already, you already stay out your phone. I told you, stay off your phone until we get done. Man. You sit up here looking. Yes. Anyway, like I was saying, pretty much Epstein had everybody in his pocket. Everybody and everything in his pocket. And like, like we were saying earlier about money ruling the world and money pretty much being what? 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 what, what, what why are you looking at me like that? I'm just looking at you. Anyway, this my what? No, just my normal look. <laughs> you over here like? <laughs> like that. Listening. Anyway, like I was saying, pretty much he. That's what you sound like. Fuck out of my guy. Out of my goddamn ear! Fuck out of my ear! <laughs> 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 fuck out of my ear! Fuck! Yes, Brian. Money does run the world. Money does run the world. I don't know. This this is probably in my lifetime. This is like probably in this decade, like in the last decade. This is like probably like the only time I've ever heard like a millionaire like really like like really like being exposed like that. I've never really, maybe just Donald Trump, and that's about it. I, I was trying my best not to say his name, but I said it. There, I, lost, I lost the bet. But uh, the Supreme Court's asking for his taxes, and he has to release them now. 
and he's pissed off about it. Why did in his last year? They should have been. Yeah, no, time. they asked him at the beginning of his first, ter- like the first year of his term. Yeah, he didn't give it to him. He didn't want to. He blocked it by sending them something to, at the Supreme Court. So clearly, we know he has done tax evasion if he's too scared to fucking present his taxes. Him. Yeah. And then, all, and then, former lawyers aren't they locked up or whatever? There's yeah. lawyers that are locked up, and there's people that are dying, and literally his whole they're cabinet is the, like the, arrested the sec- and, the and resigned. Check should be on it's seven. so crazy. His I'm not talking about that. <laughs> his, his whole cabinet is either arrested or resigned from. From like even just just being around him, yeah, that's great. And then we were talking about documentaries. Uh, what's that documentary we were talking about last night? Of that kid, that, that his Gabriel parents, Fernandez. Gabriel Fernandez. So I was telling James. I had heard about that. I didn't want to watch you, it. I, I, I can't. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. It's hard. But no. It. So you know how they killed. Uh, the the old yeah, mom killed a kid. Yeah, killed. So I was telling James last night that I was reading the article that when she that she was in jail. It was two days ago that they had to take her to, like, the emergency infirmary. They're in jail because they ganged up on her, they cornered her, and they burnt her alive. Like the inmates? Yeah. God. They said, oh, you want to be a, 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 a child killer, and they, they cornered I mean, her. That's usually how it goes in jail. Well, yeah. Because if, if, if you're a molester yeah. and, and, and you're in a, and, and a guy's yeah. jail, you're getting your ass beat yeah. or you're getting killed. Or you're getting fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that. <laughs> Oh, you, oh, you like, oh, you like touching little kids. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, I, I heard about that. I'm like, man, I don't, I can't. I can't watch that I fucking documentary. It. It's, it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. Especially something with, like, a kid, like, uh, can't do it. Um, shit, what is this? This is, we almost doing it for, like, an hour now. Holy shit. All right, we'll go to one last subject. Vanessa again. Oh, yeah. What's the subject? Vanessa. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, they need to do an investigation. They do. I feel like this is uh, definitely a good way to just expose the Army. Yeah. Yeah. Not even as the Army, the Navy. Yep. Um, I think... Anything that's going on with, like, one of emails. The, one of the biggest things that pissed me off about the whole Vanessa uh, stuff is that one of the commanders, who's a female, mm-hmm. said, well, that's just part of being in the Army. Yeah. Well, what's part of being in the Army? Getting molested, what? By, yeah. She was like, "That's how that's how women earn their stripes and 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 trust within the within the guys in the army." That's, sick of it. that's disgusting, that's and sick. it pissed me off that a, that a female, knowing good and well that another female just died by getting her head bashed in with a hammer, and then cut up into pieces and hid, burned, and yeah, and burned. That's pathetic. That's horrible. It's honestly, bro. But it is bringing a lot of attention now because there's a lot of people that are in the army now, or Navy, Marines, whatever, mm-hmm. that are coming out, and they're females, and they're coming out. Yeah, this stuff is true, guys. And so now, every branch of the military is going to get fucked. Yeah, like they should. I mean, honestly, bro, I don't want to be selfish, but I don't want to see that happen. Yeah, that's that's what happens. Yeah. Just went crazy. Been like, Fort Hood should have just went crazy. There's been like three missing people found from Fort Hood within the last month. Fort Hood yeah. should have went Vanessa. crazy, bro. Yeah, and they're tied to Vanessa. Especially, Some, especially, or one of them is, at especially least. Especially because it's a woman. You know, a woman is like... And I'm a girl. A, 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 women in this society are treated like... Treated like niggas. I'm going to keep it real. They're treated like niggas. Treated like... Black folk. Pretty much. Like, if you think about it, the female is their rights. I want to know where the energy of the Black Lives Matter movement was for her. There, there, are, there are a couple. We, I mean, here in Houston, we, here in Houston, we did have uh, a mural. We, we had, uh, we've got murals painted, and then we've had, we did have a, um, a, a what's couple it called? Of public speak. Speak what's things. that? What's that? A riot? Not a riot. Uh, no. Are you talking about a, um, a couple of speakers? Yeah, they had a march in, yeah. in Discovery Green yeah. around the area, but yeah. but still, like it's not the attention is not being as brought up as the, and I don't want to sound selfish because I'm Hispanic, but it's I'm not a, it's not being brought up as George the George Floyd. Floyd. But I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I, I I really thought there would be like more Hispanic people like 
rallying for this shit. The only reason Hispanic people don't rally rally like that is because ICE is right around the corner and ready to deport anybody they can. Or put them in cages. While we're on the subject of that, bro, I, I, keep seeing, I keep hearing, like, stories about, like... Uh, kids missing? That? That ICE loses their kids? That and uh, vendors. Those, uh, those dudes who be selling, like, corn and shit like that. They getting robbed and shit. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, bro. I don't know. My, my thing is, I don't understand how... Well, I understand why, but here in America, the the notion of an immigrant is here to steal your job. Mm-hmm. An immigrant wouldn't be here to steal your job if you weren't lazy enough to fucking do it. I don't see any white people out in the fields picking corn, I tomatoes. I don't, see no, I don't see no white people standing at Home Depot trying to get, trying to get work. Yeah, it's just... I don't see that. If, when you see a Hispanic and a white dude that are holding up a sign outside asking for money, mm-hmm. the white guy is asking lazy. for money. Lazy. He can work. He just doesn't want to. Mm-hmm. He's trying to get money for free. Work. And a Hispanic has a sign that says, here to work, hire me. Work. I'm not asking for money. I'm just asking. They're okay if they're just making $5 just to go fucking mow a big lawn. They don't give a shit. At the end of the day, what they're worried about is their families, not themselves. comes down to a thing of like morals where your where your loyalty lies I feel like um, yeah man that you know so getting anything is just definitely exposing just the world to what is going on in our army military rest in peace Vanessa yeah. rest in peace Anything else I need to talk about? We've been sitting here for a long time. I don't know. Do you want to expound on the? Want to expand on the, the kids getting? What is it? Missing and missing. Ice, ice somehow ice. misses. I don't know anything about this. What's going on? The ICE representatives that were the, all the kids are being held are captive. Feds, no, come 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 here yeah, some. Oh, I've seen killed, every getting other killed. every other two months. ICE somehow loses kids. So the the thesis right now is that certain officers in ICE are trafficking those children out, and which is how that's how Wayfair became tied back, Wayfair. T- tied back into the, tied into that. And then you see that you see that they said they didn't they couldn't find no evidence to support the claims of uh, yeah. there being any in our not not in our corporation. There's nothing going on with our corporation. That's the unfortunate part, man. And I think I'm pretty sure the Supreme Court just ruled or are going to rule that Trump needs to release all those children at least back to their country. Crazy here, yeah. It's a diabolic and evil world we live in right now. I agree. You're about to get us copyrighted. Sorry. Anyway, man, I think we just going to stop it here. Yeah, we might as well cut it because it's late. ADD over here can't stay out. Can't stay, can't out. stay still. Phone. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, we're just going to stop it here. Uh, pretty good conversation. Yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and don't get too entangled in other arrangements. Entangled? I'm probably going to name a podcast that. Entangled. Anyways, y'all, y'all take it easy. Be good.